So anyway, we're gonna set that one aside because the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, this this truck now over here, not this one, but this one. Uh, he was talking about putting this white cab on this black where this black truck cab is, and uh, I believe. I believe the only thing that keeps that cab on there is, and, and this is pretty much how they made them back, how they made these metal toys, is it, see these little tabs here, well their little tabs are just little bent pieces of metal and you can unbend them and when you do it lets this come up off of that. Now there's a tab hole here and there's a tab hole here. There's also a couple of little brads here, and I think those little brads probably go right into this front end. And Luke mentioned that that front end uh, stays on there. He wants that front end on this cab body. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get me a screwdriver, and I can't hold you all up where you can look at that. I can try to do it a little bit like this. You can carefully, sort of carefully, take and try to get your screwdriver tip down underneath is that even got any? It might already be broke off. Sometimes they get broke off over the years. But you can pry them back a little. And that should allow that to. Oh, yeah. See, that's already loose on the back. Uh, Y'all see? Let's see how that's flapping about there. So, really, the only thing holding this one on is this one tab right in front, which is still there. Which, see, I can come over here and. Stri and I'm looking at. I'm supposed to be looking at what I'm wanting you to look at, not what you want to look at. See, I should be able to raise that up. And when I raise that up, that'll let that come off. Right there, I think. Let's see if I He's talking about soaking them. He's talking about soaking some of these things in vinegar to soak some of the rust off of them. What I'm kind of doing now is just sticking things back together in such a way that he's got a something basic to look at. And see, another thing, I, I want to build a wrecker boom for this truck. I was at a pawn shop yesterday, and they had some, but and they had one with a little wrecker boom, but I didn't like it. It looked, it didn't look very good. I didn't like it very much. And I didn't want to buy something I didn't like very much. So I told Luke, I said, I'm going to make you a record boom because I want to make one that looks cool. I want a cool looking record boom. Luke's got some cars that are un ridiculously cool. He's got like an old 37 truck. It's like a 37 Chevy truck. And you know, these cars were made uh, congruent to, is that the right word, to the age that they were built in. Like if, like if they built a car. I'll give you an example. They built a car in 48. That's, that's a 48 fire truck car. It's actually kind of, I think it's supposed to be like Pontiac, but, cause it's got, the, it looks like that Pontiac station wagon with the wood on the back that somebody made into a fire truck. Did you see that grill? Now this one over here is made in the late 50s to early 60s. And it's got that kind of modernized, you know, grill with the square fenders, whereas this one here's got the, rounded fenders. See, so they made them to fit in with what was common. 
in the day that they was made in. So, uh, so this truck would have been made. Well, see, this is a, like a '61 Ford cab over. We used to have. Uh, I worked for an oil company. And we had we had oil trucks, delivery trucks that had this kind of cabs on. In fact, when I went to work for UPS, we had some trucks, some box trucks that had a cab like this. I'm just straightening out these little things here. And, uh, and on these, the cabs would flip up. Like if you needed to check it off, the motor sat between the seats. And so you'd come out here and release a button and you'd jack a little hydraulic thing and it would jack the cab up. And then you could step over under the cab here and pull out the dipstick and, and uh, check the oil. That's how you check the oil. Now I think it'd be fun to make one of these with a flip up cab. But I ain't going there today, although you know, we might think about that later, especially with this old cab, because he was saying, well, we could do some stuff with that old cab, and I could see what we could. Uh, we could do a, a little fixing up with this old cab, too. But, uh, what was I going with? What was I going with that? What was I talking about? Y'all remember? I can't remember. I even forgot where I was going with that. But, okay. So that tab is in place. The back tabs are not yet. But they're, they're, but I don't need to, I don't need for them to be in place yet because that's good enough for me to let Luke see that. And that's really all I'm doing today is I don't want I don't want to finalize anything until until we're ready. You can see this is not a flip up dump body like that other one was, although the frames. The frame is surprisingly similar to that other frame over here. You know, I'm pretty sure this one's built. Yeah. Pretty similar. Well, let's see. That, I'm guessing that could have been. That, that'd be like a 61 forward pickup up there. And this would be like a 61 or somewhere along in there. So, yeah. That could be. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna straighten them back tabs out and put them in permanent. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like it is. In fact, I think I'll set this one up here with this one. Set these two up here. That way, kind of show Luke. I might I might set something up under that front end. You know, I was talking about how that front end on that truck is sitting up a little higher. That ain't exactly right either, but it's close-ish. So. So here's that one. And see, I can I can take and uh, get a photo from that. If I video something, I can turn it into a photo. And there's that. So I can grab I can grab pictures out of them and out of them ones right there. I like that warning dead man sign in the background between the two of them there. I think that makes it look kind of cool. I might, I might make kind of a cool picture right there. Right. I guess I could get that open for business, almost open for business sign flashing in the back. Yeah. Oh, joy. Okay, I'm playing now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm still, I'm still messing with uh, this other truck here. See, so we got this old truck here. Which is, looks like an old international to me. A lot of them old trucks look like this. We could put that on that. Oh, we could put this on that. Oh, we could put either one of them on that. Oh, we could put both of them on that. I don't know yet. We didn't figure that out. I'm going to save these wheels. I guess I could put these wheels right back on here. That way, we don't have to worry about them. Lost it or misplaced. Right? Right. Let's 
to come right back on there. <clears throat> 